All right, we are back with um, additive and destructive diseases as sort of a recap of the pathology lecture, knowing which is additive and which is destructive and how to adjust your technical factors. This um, chart, which I'll show you in a second, um, is just giving you an idea of where, what locations you'll find these pathologies and are they additive or destructive? So additive, we know, is something that's adding to the body. So it's going to cause something to thicken. It's going to increase the atomic number. It's going to increase the density of it. And for your ART, additive destructive or additive diseases require an increase of your technical factors. Destructive diseases are ones that are taking away or destroying that body part. So they're causing something too thin. They're decreasing in density. Um, they're decreasing in atomic number. Your destructive diseases, which are sort of eating away or destroying the anatomy, require you to decrease your technical factors. So when you look at this chart, and we're going to break down some of these over the next few videos here, what are some additive and destructive things that you could see in multiple areas? Um, so, you know, your tumors or your abscesses um, or atrophy, we might see over a variety of sites. Chest um, additive is anything that's adding probably fluid or infection to the chest. So pneumonia um, adds an infection to the chest. Um, pleural effusion is fluid in the pleural cavity where it's not supposed to be, making it heavier. Pneumothorax is air in the pleural space. That's not making it heavier, it's including air. Abdomen areas um, might be the ascites, is an increase in fluid in the abdomen where it's not supposed to be. Or a decrease or a destructive might be a bowel obstruction. Um, the obstruction might be there, the bowel might die because of it. And then grouping together extremities and skull, all of your sort of bony areas, things that would add to it um, would be definitely your Paget's disease, which has that like cotton wool appearance. It's going to increase in density. Destructive diseases would be your osteoporosis, your elderly patients that um, their bones are becoming less dense. Um, anything with necrosis or degenerative arthritis. Multiple myeloma is when that traveling um, cancer, they have cancer somewhere else in the body, and it has then traveled to another location and has that like punched out appearance, um, eating away at the bone or something like that. So knowing these and knowing your medical terminology, if you know effusion is fluid, uh, you know, pneumo, is it air or is it fluid? Um, something like that would help you to navigate these terms if you can't remember them. And you and I both know you do not probably adjust your factors when it says pleural effusion oh. versus pneumothorax. You use probably AEC on your PHS on the panel. Um, but for ART, this is what we need to know. You increase technique for additive, you decrease technique for destructive. So I'll meet you back here. We're going to go through a bunch of these and I'll give you some image examples um, to help you navigate those.